We are back with another Versus with an all-time great, potentially the best of all time, Big Z. Now, we've done this with Brian Shaw. We've done this with Eddie Hall. Uh, we've done this with Hathor Bjornsson. So go ahead and check those videos out. Uh, but here we go. Now, caveat, if you watch any of the other videos, we had standard sets of events. But what I wanted to do is actually compare to these guys at their best. And so what I've done here changed a couple of events to actually reflect the things that Z did more often when he was really good, or else we get sort of a funny perspective of things uh, based on what we currently do. So Z is obviously on the Mount Rushmore of Strongman, and there's a very good reason for that. When you go through his Strongman archives, you have pages and pages and pages of results. He definitely takes the, the cake for the person who has competed the most number of times, and he's won more than half. He competed 150 times so far, and he's still going, 82 of which were victories. A lot of those Strongman Champions League, obviously he has his eight Arnold's wins. He's won World's Strongest Man three times. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly, but he's won both of those multiple times. He's won the Arnold more than anyone else, and it's not even close. In contrast, we are looking at piddly old me with 12 international contests and five wins. I'm starting to feel like I, you know, I get the process of being in different places. I start to understand what it's like to be in different situations and different arenas, all of that. And I've only done it 12 times. I can't imagine the feeling when you're at 150. It must just be second nature now. It must just be kind of, uh, kind of just going normal day job. Uh, so that being said, I think the odds are stacked against me, but let's see how we go. So this, these events are gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go max Hummer tire deadlift rather than max from the floor. Gonna do Austrian oak for reps, a heavy yoke, a 640 kilo yoke uh, for three meters. We're gonna do the Arnold frame carry, max dumbbell, fingerless finger, manhood stones. Go ahead and pop in the comments who you think is gonna win. I'll tally it all up at the end and let's see how we go. So let's go event by event. Number one, we've got the max Hummer tire deadlift. Now my best here is 476, that's at the Shaw Classic, both last year and this year. This year I had a torn hamstring when I did it. I think I could have hit the 500 kilo uh, increment, but uh, a Big Z, Big Z did 540 kilos in 2011. So 540, that is it for me. Absolutely no chance. So Z is up one nothing. Next up is the Austrian Oak. We all know how this is gonna go. His performance in the 2016 Arnold could be one of the best of all time when he hit the 205 kilo log for four reps. When you're looking to Big Z's sort of his history, I think it's pretty interesting because you know about his static power. But you just look at certain things and just wonder how on earth did he did that? Did he do that? And just things that he wasn't known for. And I think that's why he was so good because even things that he wasn't particularly known for, he was very, very good at. We'll get to the biggest example of that at the end. But my best Austrian oak is three reps at the 195. At 205, I would be over the moon to get one or two reps on that. So that is it for me and Z is up to nothing. Next up is the yoke, and the yoke is one that I always say this is, you know, my favorite event. If I have to back myself against anyone on something, it's going to be on the yoke. In the 2006 Arnold, they did a 640 kilo yoke for three meters, and Z did that in 3.8 seconds. So pretty, moving pretty well with a weight that heavy. That being said, this is still my event. That way, I have done before a couple of times, and for three meters in competition, I, I would back myself to beat 3.8 seconds. So we pull it two, two, one. Next up, we've got the Arnold frame carry. This is a heavy frame with no straps. Z, not really known for his grip. If he had one thing that maybe he didn't do so well, it would have been the grip events. His best result was 8.69 meters at the 2012 Arnold. And I've finished that course with a frame that's slightly heavier. So that takes us to two, two. Next up, we've got dumbbell. Now we're gonna go the sear dumbbell and that's usually what they did in the past. There's a lot of different results for that. Sear dumbbell, you got four reps of the 124 kilo sear dumbbell. Personally, I've never even hit it for one. I hit 140 on a monster dumbbell this year. I bet I could if, uh, if I had another opportunity to do the sear dumbbell, crank out a couple. That being said, I haven't done it. So Z wins that one and Z is up three, two. Next we have Fingles Finger, 
and he did that five and 28 seconds. This had to be one of the most impressive things of all time. This year at Worlds, when we're, we finished up Fingal's Finger, I had come maybe six in the event or something. There was a whole stack of us between 47 and 49 seconds. The winner got 42 seconds, and Z was on the bus, proudly showing everyone how he did five fingers of the same weight in 28 seconds. He would have beat the best guy this year by more than 10 seconds on that run, so absolutely phenomenal. My best on that, I did them in 48 seconds, uh, definitely nowhere near stacking up. Now, the most impressive results, that we found when going through here is the manhood stones where Z did three Atlas stone reps at 238 kilos. I didn't realize he had that in him. That is phenomenal. My best ever is 235 by one. I haven't had to go heavier in a long time and I've never had to do that for reps. So I don't really know, but he certainly gets the win with that result, bringing the total to five for Z and two for me. I suppose I have a long way to go. But I think this just sort of highlights the errors in strongman and how things go. Because a lot of these things we're not exposed to all that much. I've touched a sear dumbbell once. Uh, I've done the Hummer tire twice. I've done fingerless finger once. So some of these things, they just don't come up as frequently anymore. And other things become more popular. So that is me versus Big Z. Huge amount of respect for him. I think he's probably the best to ever do it, if not 1B. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Would I maybe stand a chance in a more modern day competition against Z at his best, or is this just a complete write-off? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And again, like I said, we've got other videos with some of the strongmen, with, Z, with Thor, with Eddie, and with Brian. Go ahead and check those out. Link in the description. And if you're interested in improving your strongman capabilities, I've put out several different programs for a lot of different programming variables, whether you're a power lifter or a strongman, or you're just trying to generally put on some muscle, go ahead, check the link in the description, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. With those programs, you not only get your program, you also get 12 weeks of education, which is what sets us apart from every other program online. It's not just 12 weeks to get you where you'd like to be in 12 weeks time. It's 12 weeks to get you where you want to be in 12 weeks time, but also the knowledge to be able to move forward and be better, more informed after you've done the program. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As per usual, lift heavy, be kind, and we will see you soon.